hangings, hit and runs, and demons. Oh my! This building had a few different functions throughout its lengthy stay in the French Quarter. The furthest iteration that I could find of it was that of a popular tailor. Mr. Green was the specialist here, and in the late 1800s, he was known around the city for being a master of his craft. A few accounts have Mr. Green befriending people from all walks of life, which was a rarity for an American at the time. Unfortunately, Mr. Green is said to have hanged himself inside his tailor shop, which is now Yo Mama's Bar and Grill. He's been seen many times as a tall figure waiting for a drink, and apparently his go-to drink is Jack and Coke. It seems like Mr. Green is as nice in the afterlife as he was while he was alive, too. Nothing intimidating about the spirit at all. Now, people that have encountered him say that he's a soothing presence. Now, even though there weren't any billiard tables at his tailor shop at the time of his death, he seems to like to shoot pool in his spare time also. Pool balls will sometimes set themselves up or clack together sporadically. Young women who are closing their tabs have encountered an elderly gentleman who asks to escort them home safely, but he vanishes before they can give an answer. He does possess, and no pun intended, a striking feature. You'll know it's Mr. Green when you notice the rope burns that's said to be on his neck. Now, perhaps Mr. Green isn't the only entity here either. There is a mirror behind the bar that is said to reflect a dark mist and employees see orbs floating around it quite often. This is rumored to be the spirit of a young girl who was fatally run over by a speeding horse and buggy right outside in the street. There are some who claim that it's not a spirit at all that possesses the mirror, but an actual demon brought on by the immense trauma suffered by the young girl and Mr. Green both. This would only be the second location in all of the French Quarter that would be home to an actual demon that we have uncovered so far. Demons were never human, but instead are entities sent from hell itself to possess things both animate and inanimate. Considering New Orleans is thought to have multiple gateways to the fiery underworld in a few of our cemeteries, it's highly likely more of these demonic possessions are around. So, if you want a paranormal experience or worst case scenario, get a little soulaid, come check out Yo Mama's Bar in the French Quarter and tell Yo Mama to subscribe to Louisiana Dread on YouTube and visit our website, louisianadread.com and get you one of these cool shirts. I'm Kyle Crosby and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.